Summer's over and it's getting colder, but that doesn't mean that you should stop camping. You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Camping in the fall is a wonderful time to be out of doors. So don't be intimidated by the cold weather as it comes in. Just be prepared. You know, there is no bad weather, there's just bad clothing. So if you look at what I've got on today, you'll notice that I've got a base layer followed by a wool shirt and then a vest. And as it gets colder, I might wanna go ahead and put on a coat to warm me up a little bit. But also I want you to pay attention to the material. So wool, even though it might be wet, has a tendency to hold the heat in a little bit better. But if you have cotton on, cotton will hold the water and it will chill you down. So as a river guide, we used to say that cotton was the death material. It would just hold the cold and, and chill you down and hypothermia and all sorts of terrible things would happen. So avoid cotton, leave that at home, bring out your wool and layer up and you'll have a great time in the outdoors. Not only is clothing important, but how and what you're sleeping in is really important also. Come on in, I'll show you what we do. So this is a setup that I would use maybe for a summertime camping or a warm weather camping, maybe early fall. Things that you need to remember are, we're talking about layering, not only with your clothes, but also with your sleeping gear. It's great to have this cot. I love my cot, but you'll notice there's a lot of air underneath, which if the weather's cold, you're gonna have that air coming up through. I'm using my blow up air mattress, which is great, it's convenient, it's small, and it's very comfortable either on the cot or it's comfortable on the ground. Then this is a uh, sleeping bag that I really enjoy. I'm not a mummy bag kind of guy. I don't like my feet tight. And this has a square foot box, which I really like. You'll notice that this has a flannel lining and that just is better than a cotton like a sheet or something like that, which would hold the cold. The other feature that I like about this sleeping bag is it's got a little puffy area here that protects you from the zipper. So you can zip that up and you'll have this little uh, lining here that will cover and protect you from a cold zipper in the night, which is comfortable. And then I always like to bring my pillow. We're comfort camping and so we've got a big tent, we've got a cot, we've got a heavy sleeping bag or a large sleeping bag. So I bring my pillow. The one extra thing that I always bring, whether it's winter or summer, is an extra flannel liner. I just keep it rolled up and next to me if I need to put it inside my sleeping bag or just on top to add another layer of warmth, I, it's a great thing to have and it's easy to take. Now we've shown you warm weather camping, let me show you what we do for cold weather. You know, when I was younger, I was invited to go on a camp out and it was a winter camp. And I thought, oh, I'll be smart. I'm gonna bring this great blow up mattress. Well, I didn't think about the air getting colder and condensing and, and shrinking. And so I had my whole setup but the cold air that was in that air mattress really chilled me down and by the time morning came I was almost laying on the ground and it was a miserable night. So as you can see in this setup I've learned that we're going to go with a denser foam and create some nice cushion as well as insulation under my sleeping bag. This bag is rated for a much colder night and so I've been able to sleep in this bag at minus 10 degrees many many times and been comfortable. When you're looking for a sleeping bag, you can normally find one that has a temperature rating on the side of the container or the bag. But keep in mind that if it says, for example, 25 degrees, you're still gonna wanna take a liner just for comfort. Also in this bag, you'll notice that I've already got my liner in there. I brought my pillow for comfort and I still bring an additional liner that I can put on the top or inside if I want to. One of the other hacks that we want to talk to you about is we talked about layering your clothing. Now we're layering our, our bedding, but as you get ready to go to bed, you want to peel off all of your clothes, including your underwear, and put on something nice and dry. We don't realize that the little bits of sweat that accumulate in our clothing stay there and that will really chill us down. So put on some 
dry underwear, put on some dry socks, maybe put on um, some sweatpants and just get comfortable. Generally what happens to me is I get comfortable, I get in my sleeping bag and about halfway through the night I'm all warmed up again and I take my socks off and leave them in the bottom of my bag. The next morning when you're done, you wanna get up, change into your other clothes and your sleeping clothes you're gonna hang out so that they'll air out and dry ready for the next night. There is no need to be intimidated when you're camping in cold weather. If you follow some of the tips that we've shown you today, you're gonna to have a great time. We hope this has been helpful, and we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.